Happy Thursday. How you doing today, huh? Hey, I've got something really good for you today. Three simple steps to supernatural financial increase. I'm telling you folks, this is amazing and it's so simple. Do not trip over how simple this is. It's so simple, you are going to be amazed. It's so easy to do. I'm gonna take you through it real easy. I mean, it's almost like I do two of them for you and you do one of them. This is amazing, huh? Hallelujah, hang on. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be, ch this is gonna change your life if we've never done this. If we have done it, we're gonna make some adjustments to make sure you're, you're getting your financial increase. Amen, hallelujah. Say this with me, the rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am an amazing person. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is an amazing pastor. An amazing pastor. I was saying I was a wonderful pastor for a while, but let's change that to amazing. Pastor Jim is an amazing pastor. I like that. Huh? You should talk like that about yourself. You know what? The more you think of yourself, the more other people will think of you. Amen. The more you like yourself, the more other people will like you. Amen. Hallelujah. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 1,280 some videos in there. Almost 1,290. We're closing in on 1,300. We're getting there, huh? Hey, this is amazing. These are amazing videos. They're absolutely the best spirit-filled teaching available anywhere. I know there's a lot of people on TV, a lot of videos out there, but nobody teaches like we do. Nobody does. Amen. That's what everybody tells me. This teaching will take you to a different level, and it's only 15 minutes a day. If you will invest 15 minutes a day, it don't cost you nothing. Invest 15 minutes a day, and you will be amazed at how your life will change. It quickens your spirit. It makes, it, it just, it puts some giddy up in your step. Amen? And it will increase your faith. Do you have any idea what today is? We say, Pastor Jim, today's Thursday. Oh, yeah. But something far more important. Today is Chinese Food Day. Our Chinese restaurant, our favorite Chinese restaurant, supposedly opened yesterday. We're going to be there today. We would have been there yesterday, except you know who wanted to have breakfast. So by the time lunchtime came around, we weren't hungry. But we're not eating breakfast this morning. We're going for Chinese food. Amen. We'll see how that works. I'll let you know. Hey, I want to talk to you today about three simple steps. Three simple steps to supernatural financial increase. Three. And I'll do two of them for you. Oh, the, is this great? Three simple steps, and I do two of them. All you have to do is one of them. Amen. You do one of them. I do two of them. They all come out of this book and this book. These two. These two books. If you don't have these books, folks, get these books and read these books. Read one of these books every week. If you read one of my books, there's eight of them, every week, you will be living your life and operating on a level so far above 99% of all born-again, spirit-filled people, you will be amazed. You'll be amazed at the level that you operate your life on. Amen? Step number one, the curse of the law must be broken. People fail to increase. People fail to be successful. People fail to get ahead because the curse of the law is in place. Now, if you say, well, Pastor Jim, Christians can't be cursed. Oh, yeah. Well, look around. Look, I say to these people who say that, 
And a lot of prominent people say that, and they are wrong. Look around you. If you see poverty and lack and, and people struggling to, to pay their bills, and there's a lot of that going on in the church, folks. A lot of it. I, if, if I go into, we, Mary and I have been all over the country ministering in churches all over the country, all the way from one coast to the other coast. And, and I'll tell you what, when I stand up and say, who needs healing? Who needs financial increase? 95% of the people will stand up in every single church, especially finances, especially finances. They, they don't get a hold of this. It's in here. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, that is the curse of the law, folks. And if you see anything in there, thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. This is part of the curse. It says all these curses, and this is a curse. Not prospering in your ways is a curse. And so many people call me and say, Pastor Jim, nothing I do ever works. Well, I'll tell you why. Because there's a curse called the curse of the law. Now, I know that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. But the curse has gotten back in there, folks. It gets back in there through spoken curses. People cursing their kids. You'll never amount to anything. That's what my grandfather told my dad, and he never did, and neither did I, because I inherited that curse. But I broke it and my whole life changed. The curse needs to be broken and I'll do it for you because it takes a, a, an incredible high level of faith to do that. You have to be, I'm not going to say you have to be anointed because faith can do it if you have that level of faith. Some people do. Kenneth Copeland had that level of faith to break it himself. We broke it ourselves. But most people can't. They need help with this. I can do it for you in five seconds. Five seconds, I can break the curse of the law in your life. And I'm telling you what, folks, everything changes. It's, it's, like, it's like opening the door and letting increase come through. And it will flood your house. It's like the windows of heaven. People wonder why the windows of heaven are not open. Well, the reason they're not open is because there's a curse there. The curse blocks it. it, it the, the window is still open. God said he will open the windows of heaven. Well, the window is open, but it ain't getting to you. It's not getting to you. It didn't get to me until the curse was broken. And then, at first, it started to trickle in. And then started to flood in. And now I'm not too sure what to do with it. That's abundance, folks. It's the God said, I'll pour you out a blessing that you can't even reach. You don't have room enough for it. Well, then you got to start giving things away. God said, I will bless you and make you to be a blessing. You cannot be a blessing to nobody unless you're blessed. Step number two is to have the blessing spoken over you. The word for word blessing that God told us to speak. And when the curse is broken and that blessing is spoken, let me tell you something, folks. It is absolutely life changing. It just, it's just, we did that seven years ago in June. It's actually been seven years and one month, but who's counting? Are you counting, Mary? No. Mary said, she said, no, but she is. She knows exactly when it was because we stood in the living room and did it. And I'm telling you what, folks, in five months, $295,000 worth of debt was gone. Supernaturally gone. When the curse is gone and the blessing comes upon you, it pushes out the bad in your life and brings in the good. Your relationships get repaired. The stress leaves your life. Anybody up for that? 
Anybody want to get rid of some stress? I'll tell you what causes stress. Financial hardship causes stress. You think people who can't pay their bills are happy? I got news for you, folks. They're not happy. Well, Pastor Jim, we're poor, but we're happy. Wrong. If you're poor, you're not happy. No poor people are happy. They're living lives full of desperation and stress, trying to figure out how to pay their bills and put food on the table. In this trillion dollar economy, people can't go to the store and buy food because the curse is blocking it. Once we break that curse and speak that blessing, the blessing of God comes over you. God says, I will command the blessing upon you, but it has to be spoken. It had, the blessing had to be spoken over the life of Abraham, and he's the one that started it. God said, I will bless all people through you. The blessing comes through Abraham, sanctified and ratified and, and, and activated by Jesus, but it comes through Abraham, through Jesus, to us. But it had to be activated in the life of Abraham by the priest, Melchizedek. It has to be activated. It has to be spoken. And then 400 years later, God gave us his words to speak. He said, this is how I want you to do it. So I do. And it works. Number three. Mary, this is number three. Okay. You know how this works. Number to... three, keep your mouth shut. I'm on fire today, folks. I'm just so excited about this stuff. Uh, no, don't even think about it. She's going to put that over me. <laughs> That's what she's going to do. Watch your words. The power of positive words. Speak only positive. Oh, don't. No. <laughs> I just like tearing it. Yeah, you like tearing it all right. I know what you, what are you going to do with that? Mary. Mary! <laughs> Look at her. Go. Look at her. <laughs> That's what happens. Can I take it off now? Mm hmm Ow! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Do you see what she did to me? No. <laughs> oh. Good thing I didn't have a mustache. <laughs> Or I would, I'd be gone. If I could break the curse in your life and speak the blessing over you and put a piece of this, give me that tape, please. If I could put this piece of tape over your mouth for six months, let me tell you something. Your bank account would be full of money and your body would be in health and you would be living in abundance. Amen. Watch your words. Break the curse, have the blessing spoken, and watch your words. Three simple, I'm telling you people, do not trip over this. It's so simple. You call me today. I will break the curse and speak the blessing, but you have to watch your words. Don't let the curse back in, or it'll get back in there and block that blessing and stop up everything. It's like putting a plug in a sink. Amen. Was that good today? Go to my website, increasenow.com. Tell everybody you know about this video. You think I'm not excited about the blessing. I'm so excited about the blessing that I just lay awake at night and think about who's going to get it next. You want to be next? You call me. We have gotten this blessing into the lives of thousands of people. Go to our website, increasenow.com. When you do your offerings and donations today, especially, you call me and I will speak that blessing over you and I will break the curse. Then you watch your words and we will make sure that you live a curse-free, blessed, abundant life through the power in the name of Jesus, our wonderful Lord.